Alright, what's up guys, it is KA Central here, and I'm bringing you guys some more Kingdom Hearts news for you guys today. Just keeps on coming, man. Just keeps on coming. And we got two huge stories here for you guys today. More important, more important than the last one. You know, we got some big news stories here, so let's just get into it. So at E3, Taiyu Zoi did an interview with GameSpot um, over there, and he revealed two big pieces of information regarding Kingdom Hearts. He first talked about Kingdom Hearts 3 and confirmed to all the fans who were ever wondering if this was ever going to happen, he says no. There will be no Final Fantasy based worlds in Kingdom Hearts 3. He is quoted as saying, We are not adding any Final Fantasy worlds. A lot of the original Kingdom Hearts worlds, like Hollow Bastion, Traverse Town, etc., had Final Fantasy characters in them. At this moment, we are not really coming up with any plans for that. We're making original worlds and Disney worlds. But why can't any of those original worlds could be like Final Fantasy worlds? I mean, yeah. It may be just original stuff to connect with the story of Kingdom Hearts 3, but come on, I want I want some I want some Final Fantasy worlds in there, man. Come on, it'd be so awesome. Um, but anyways, I think that's just all it's gonna be. Pure really awesome if they did that. Um, so a lot of people were really wanting that. I was kinda really wanting that. I wasn't really sure if they were gonna do it. I think that more than likely they weren't, as proven here. Um, but I still thought it would be really cool if they did that, and they confirmed here that they're not gonna do that. Um, so I'm guessing it's just gonna be a piece of fan speculation you know like that would have been cool if they did that i mean they do say that a lot of final fantasy characters are in the like original worlds in kingdom hearts um so i guess that's a consolation for it and i'm guessing they'll feature those in kingdom hearts 3 as well since it's going to be the um climactic event for everything in the kingdom hearts series so hopefully that they'll show those people in there but hey it would have been cool if they did that. But here comes the hype. Here comes the hype machine. The big news that I was really wanting and hoping to see, but I guess we didn't really get a confirmation for it, but I still really like to see this. Taizoi in the same interview then goes on to say that there is still a possibility that the Kingdom Hearts HD collections 1.5 and 2.5 may come to PS4. He's quoted as saying, We haven't come to the decision and nothing is announced yet. We listen to our fans and our players and see what they think about it. And yeah, I'm not ruling it out, but we're not making an announcement just yet. Oh, come on, please. Please do it. Please. It would be so awesome and necessary for you guys to do this. Oh my goodness, yes. Um, I know it's just a little bit of information like, yeah, he's just said it because someone said that and like, we don't come into rumor circulation all that. They don't have anything to say about it. Um, but still... Wouldn't it be so awesome if they did that? Wouldn't it be so fucking cool? Oh my goodness. Um, so I have a big old rant about this and on how they need to port these games onto the PS4 and Xbox One and Xbox One. Make sure to keep that in mind. Um, so let me get into that. So a lot of players may be new to the series. Um, because this is one of the most hyped games of all time and a lot of people are starting to hear about it. They're starting to hear people talk about it. You know, and they see all this stuff online about it, and they're like, hey, that looks really cool, maybe I should try it out. But they haven't played any of the other uh, games of the Kingdom Hearts series. And what if they do not own a PS3? Maybe they're an Xbox gamer that transferred over to PS4, or whatever possibility. A lot of people have not played all the games in the series yet. And if you don't know, the HD remixes were there to help prepare you for the story of Kingdom Hearts 3, get, get you catched up, and could put all those things in just like one little package, you know, well two. But anyways, um, I still think it's really necessary that they do that because Kingdom Hearts 3 is not on last gen, it's on next gen, it's not gonna be on PS3. Um, so I think it's really necessary that they port it onto the PS4 and since Kingdom Hearts 3 is also coming to the Xbox One, which you can't really stop that, I mean you can whine and complain all you want, I mean, you can do that all to do that day. But it ain't gonna change their minds that they're actually gonna do it for the Xbox One, you can't change that. So you also gotta realize that they have not released a single game in the Kingdom Hearts series on Xbox One ever. And that's a problem because not no one knows the story on Xbox One. I mean, maybe a lot of players, PlayStation players, uh, transferred over to Xbox in the later years. I don't know. But, I mean, a lot of people still probably don't know the story of Kingdom Hearts that are on Xbox. And they need that kind of foundation on Xbox with those Kingdom Hearts games. If you just release Kingdom Hearts 3 on there, it would just be kind of a culture suck to them over there. And I know what you guys are going to say. Oh, PlayStation rules. Go, Sony. Microsoft can go fuck themselves. Kingdom Hearts on PlayStation forever. Or some fancier version of that. Like, well, you see, the PS4 is going to be much more powerful than the Xbox One. Shut up, okay? Okay, just shut up. <laughs> Get ready for fanboyism for five seconds, all right? And realize that you got to put logic in this. They do not have a foundation on Xbox, and Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be released on Xbox One. So, they need that foundation. So, they need to release the HD uh, remixes onto uh, PS4 and Xbox One. 
So, I hope you can understand where I'm coming from here. I know you'll find some way to tiptoe around it, but it will always come back to the fanboyism, in my opinion. I mean, you can have your own opinion on it, that's fine, but just don't be an asshole about it. I mean, we can all have constructive criticism on it, just don't be an asshole. Alright? That's what I was talking about in my previous statement. Don't, don't take that as every single comment on this video, alright? I love you. Got it? Good. So that's all I want to talk about with you guys today. Make sure write down in the comments below your opinion on this news. What do you think about there being no Final Fantasy Worlds in Kingdom Hearts 3? Are you upset by that? Uh, did you want them to put it in there or you not care? Um, make sure write down in the comments below your opinion. Also, do you think that they should port the Ace Remixes to PS4 and Xbox One? Make sure write down in the comments below your opinion. Also, make sure to subscribe and like this video because that'd be really awesome if you did. This has been K8 Central and I will see you guys later, probably tomorrow when that Square Enix Presents things happens. So yeah, 